This is our friend Landis Bennett. He has been in the building industry since the 70s and is also a wood scientist. So we've brought him out to our build to kind of torture my house. Exactly. So what we do in the lab is we do water penetration tests, especially around your tape on your sheathing and the windows. And we do that by spraying water on it and pulling the differential pressure. So what we're going to do here is you're going to pull the blower door test. Yeah. You're going to pull the pressure on the inside and we're going to spray the outside of the building and we're going to look for leaks. All of the sheathing, all of the, the, whole enclosure. the wrap, all yeah. the tapes. Yeah, the tape, the seams, the windows, the doors, the whole enclosure. He can pull the blower door test pressure high enough to where we're simulating uh, inclement weather, wind driven rain. And uh, this is a test I think that uh, builders should consider that, that they can do on site. You don't have to go to a lab to do this. But I think that this is where the anxiety becomes reality that you can fix. It's, it might sound like a nightmare to some people to have your anxieties become reality, but it's nice to know where the problems actually are and where you just think the problems are. We have the pressure washer running outside. I'm going to run the blower door to a much higher pressure than normal. We just ran the test, which is only to 50 pascals. I'm gonna run it up to more than double that to start this test, 125 pascals. You can actually feel that in my ears and you can hear the, the fan going. Now I've got my infrared camera. I'll be able to see the water as it's coming in when Lana is about to blast this thing. Here we go. Right now, Landis is pressure washing my house, and I'm really hoping that it is watertight. Not seeing any obvious water coming in. And just to make sure that we're doing this right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to one inch of water column, which is 250 pascals. We're spraying pretty hard on the window, and what the blower door is able to do is pull the water in around all the things that might not agree with gravity. So we're actually pulling the water up and into the window too to see if any of it comes out here. And the infrared can see things that our eyes can't see, but even with it, I can't really see any water. A Little bit right here. Just to remind me of where we're going. You can see the blotches right up there. A little bit right up there. You can see there's a seam in the buck. So you can see it with your bare eyes and you can also see it on the infrared right here. This is a seam going up the side, but we don't have a problem until right here. That is our problem. This is a hole that had a nail in it, but now it doesn't. So the blower door is pulling this door a little bit out of shape, and we can see that the top comes out. There's actually water popping through there. But again, number one, fiberglass door, not gonna rot. Number two, water will never get to this because 20 foot roof out over the back deck. So this is one place where my anxiety is confirmed, but I still feel good about myself because I know what I'm about to install. We're also testing the roof here. We have spots that you can see I marked out in orange paint already that were from when it rained naturally and we fixed them. And of course, the whole thing about performance testing is it's before and after. So we tested it with rain, then we fixed it. And now I wanna see if what I did actually worked. So after heaping all that abuse on our enclosure, using the blower door to simulate extreme weather, we got to 250 pascals. I'm a little bit curious and I'm a little bit worried that maybe we did hurt the seal that some of the tape that we put up came loose. So of course, there's only one way to find out. So we'll run it to 50 pascals. The number we had this morning was 300.
and the number we have now is about 300. So we're still at 0.4 air changes per hour at 50. That means that we did not in fact hurt the house when we ran that test for so long uh, under extreme pressure conditions. That makes me feel even better. Now that I know, even if a hurricane came through, I won't say a tornado, but if extreme weather comes through, it's not gonna hurt the house, especially since we're gonna add more and more layers to this. This is just a basic fundamental test to see if we can move forward with the rest of the layers. All right. My brain's a little bit tired. <laughs>